Right, we've had our dinner and now away we go. Hey, hello everybody, this is Shogun X1000, we're putting for juice here. Welcome you back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey Blind. Last time we finished things off in the Seaside Kingdom and made ourselves here to the Luncheon Kingdom at long last. And in case you're wondering where we were last time in the Luncheon Kingdom, not in the last episode but many years, uh, many months ago. See that island up there? That was where we were. Don't believe us? We can warp over there for you, but we're not. Because we don't really need to go down there. But anyway, in this episode though, I'm going to take a slight detour. Because, uh, I'm going to turn the volume over because I can barely hear the music. Uh, there's some regional coins over here, but more importantly, we follow this path all the way up to the very end. Got a heart right there for you. There's some regional coins over there that you can only grab when you've possessed a Podaboo. So, yeah. Power Moon. Piled on the salt. Not very healthy, that is it. <laughs> I certainly don't think it. Right. I'm not really too sure, personally, where Mount um, Falbono is meant to be referenced, is it? Because I'm trying to think, Mount Falbono is a volcanic mountain, and the only volcanic mountain... Oh, oh, hello. Lurking in the Pillar's Shadow. I actually did not know that one was there. Actually, I don't remember that one was there, personally. Whoops. Okay, so as you could... Really, Mario? Really? Honestly. What am I gonna do with you, Mario? Right, so um, as I was saying... I believe Mount Falbono is meant to reference the one and only volcanic mountain that I know in the entire world, which is uh, Mount Vesuvius in Italy. I believe this world is based in Italy. I could be wrong. If I am, please let me know if you actually do know exactly where this world is meant to be referencing. But anyway, we have got a hat door here, so let's go inside and see what's inside there. Ooh, I see. See, it's one of these stages where you have to like literally stand on solid ground without, of course, burning your bum. And these um, high risen platforms are a safety net. Thankfully, oh god, that was risky. That was so risky. Oh, damn, 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 damn. No, 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 you're not hitting me, you Okay. I did need to replenish my health anyway. Luckily enough, it actually keep... Oh, the phone's going off. Great. Hello? Um, I won't be able to, unfortunately, because I've got plans tomorrow. I'm... Okay, no worries. Bye. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, that was basically a work colleague that I work alongside with in my job as a sports coach. Um, I was being asked... If I was available to do a bike session tomorrow at 11 in the morning, and I'm not because I actually have plans to see my friends. And even though I would actually do the bike session, I'd rather see my friends. Because I've basically been working non-stop this week. And it's about time I get myself a day off at least. Because I really need one. Because imagine me waking up at half six in the morning every morning in this week. Yeah, you can tell how tiring that is. 
But anyway. So Magma Swarm floating and sinking. We got a power move. We replenish our health. Nothing. I don't think there's anything else hidden in here to be honest. Whoa, there is, there is. Okay, good thing I turned the camera there, otherwise I would have missed that. Save us else! Okay. I actually did not see this. Corner of the magma swamp. And we can just walk through the door and get out. We could have gone through the wall pipe, but nah. There's no need. Righty then, uh, let's walk along this, and look at this, see this fork, we can possess the fork, and flick ourselves up. Um, okay, there's no music, I don't know why, we've got these fork people, big welcome to Mount Volbono, home to the hugest flavours everywhere, i show you around, but uh, things are kind of on fire right now. Quite literally. <laughs> so, Peronza Plaza. I love this music. The that bird of their show, they're out of nowhere and took out over our stew pot. Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew, too, everyone was getting ready to dig in. Yeah, I feel sorry for you, mate. Digging into one of your all-time and greatest dishes and you can't because of a bird flying over it? I would roughly know that feeling, except I don't. Right then, so we've got um, some giant fruit here that don't look like real fruit at all. They just look like um, blocks of something. We got another um, Tostarina ruins like... Um, slot area. Yeah, we'd like to play, please. So once again, we've got to match ourselves the Power Moon. That's one. That's two. And there you go. Piece of cake. Lunch and Kingdom Slots. If only I was good at slot games in real life, except I'm not. Uh, right, I can see some regional coins hiding behind there. Right, I hope you lot like listening to this music as well, because I am not going to um, have Nintendo accuse me of copyright over and over and over again just because of one specific music. If you can hear it, that's good. But if you can't... Uh, there is a famous somebody who actually creates extended video content of the the world music. I didn't no. Okay, I seem to be finding power moves right, left, and center. There's a cat boy over, over there. There we go. Is this an ingredient too? <laughs> Oh, that's a good title. Are you slacking on the way? Um, well, I wasn't really asking you if you were slacking off, so don't ask me if I was asking you that. Uh, right. I wonder what you're looking at. Climbing the mountain used to be a piece of cake, but the path up to our stew pot has crumbled to pieces. There's no way up there now, and not unless you can sprout wings or hitch a ride with a flappy type. Or just possess a Podaboo. Right, so we've got a crazy cap shop here. Let's see what's in here. Mine is a Power Moon, of course. Bah! Clown outfit. Do you know what? Let's buy this, actually. Let's put it on, actually. Yeah. I think this is going to look hilarious. I'm not going to lie. I believe it's going to look hilarious. Because I do recall, there was actually some new clothing that was introduced in Super Mario Odyssey for an update. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god, Mario, that's hilarious. I actually never thought to see Mario look exactly like that. Even change his hair too. Oh, that's hilarious. But what we really need here is this. We need the chef's hat and the chef's suit. Because I believe, like we have seen in every single kingdom, there is a clothing exclusive room that we need to go in, providing we dress as a certain something. And this kind of references it. Because the four guys here, they're kind of like chefs. And sure enough, I was right. This is a place where chefs come dressed to cook. And hey, yeah, you got the clothes and the hat and come right on in. And why did I give that Fork and Mario impression? <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh no, I remember this area. And it sucks. Um, I remember this pot. If you put a poodaboo in here. You automatically get a power moon. I actually did not realise about this until I got told by Talker 2. Which is actually found somewhere in the plaza in case you're wondering. Uh, this is going to be a bit challenging. You need to jump and land on these enemies to keep the Podaboo alive. Because that will happen if you don't. Oh my god. Really, Mario? Hey! Oh my god, I was close. I don't know if these stay here permanently or what. But if they do, then that's good. If they don't, then fair enough. Right, we'll stay here and then jump in there. And that's another power moon. An extreme simmer. Right after completing a strong simmer. And oh my god, the Polo is actually jumping in and out of that pot. <laughs> right, so we've done everything in there. Oh oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this pot. If you kick these beans in here. You actually get a bunch of coins. I think it's actually a really neat touch. Oh, regional coins, regional coins. And here's where Talker 2 is, by the way. We're not going to talk to him right now because we want to complete the main missions first. Uh, this. Turn it! Let's pick it up. And let's put it in the pot. We get two coins out of that. Whoa, a golden turnip! Oh, okay. Right, golden turnip recipe one. Oh, great, it's that one, isn't it? In my practice profile, there were, in this world, literally three golden turnips. And you probably think that they are all sitting close together. Well, they're not. Uh, what do you have to say? Because you look like you got to go poop. See that slab of meat? Sure you do. But that bird hasn't. Not yet. Don't know what he's waiting for. When he sees it though, that bird's going to make off with our meat. I bet you anything he does. Well, you never know. Right, so right along here, we'll take a detour down this route because there are some regional coins we need to grab. And that'll bring us up to 24. I can grab that checkpoint flag while I'm at it. Salt Pile Isle. Good name. I just missed that Pildaboo. And I missed him again. Come on, Mario, you gotta get your aiming right. Uh, oh. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw that um, 
Floating Isle. I thought that was more regional coins. Uh, you can actually swim in this. What do you think? It's like a, a deep bog, but it's not really. Um, I think if you swim down this way, there might be something hidden here for us. Yes, there is. There's an A! I thought I did that too soon. Pretty sure this is a dead end. Yeah, but otherwise there wouldn't be regional coins here, would they, Cappy? Use your eyes, mate. Use your eyes. That jump is not easy to complete, I will tell you right now. So swim past down this way area again. There's a moon rock piece or something or other there. More regional coins hiding here. They are really good at hiding these regional coins and again better at this. And lastly these three. We'll just quickly grab them. And now we can make haste. Uh, let's head back to Bronza Plaza. Excuse me. Yeah, I think this is based in Italy, because that sounds Italian music, that does. It does sound like that this world is based around Italy. So, I might be on the right lines. Right, so this is actually what you have to do. Just jump along this as the Podaboo. And then, land here. Jump over that Goomba. We don't actually need that Goomba, by the way, in case you're wondering. We really, really don't. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's actually the way we have to go. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick detour real quick. See this area? If we head down here, there's some regional coins and also a cheese rock. And I believe, as far as I remember, we cannot kill those cheese rocks as ourselves. And there's some regional coins there that I missed. Okay, I'm going to take another quick detour. Ow. I'm going to do a long jump. Okay. Word of advice. Don't do what I just did. Well, it's taking us back over here. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to do that. Right, let's send Cappy there. Take control of that Podaboo. And let's grab those regional coins that we've been able to pick up. So that brings us up to 41 now. Let's jump up here. Oh, oh god. Excuse me, can you lower down please? Thank you. And I can see an area that we can actually gain access to that we didn't. Here we go. Let's waltz right in here. See what's in here. What is this music? <laughs> uh, we got this uh, mechanic where you have to like fling um, Cappy around. Some regional coins over there as I can see. Uh, I want to take a quick detour down this way, so I can grab those regional coins. Uh, do that. Oh god. This is not easy by the way, in case you're wondering. Um... Oh god. Thank heavens I got that first try. Usually I'm fail that. Alright. Uh, fork flicking to the summit. But yeah, that jump is actually really hard because if you fail that jump, you actually plummet to your death. So, uh, I can see another area down that way. And this is actually going to be stupid. I'm going to do this. Oh, nice! Hey, look at me with the skills! Fork flicking detour. Now the only question is, how do I make my way back? 
Alright. Whiskey for the biscuit. Let's go! Oh, damn! Well, I did say biscuit for the biscuit, but... Unfortunately... We're dead. And that also brings us to the conclusion to this episode, guys. So, next time in Super Mario Odyssey Blind, we are definitely this time going to be completing the main objective and obviously the next one after that. See you guys then.